How many nations have been destroyed in twenty-first century? So, twentieth century, twenty-first century when it began, everybody said, this is twenty-first century, this is the age of information, this is technology, this, that, no wars. Tell me how many wars in twenty-first century? How many nations have been destroyed in twenty-first century? Many. Too many. Too many for twenty-two years, isn't it? So how do we wake up? See, these are things that you can't turn around overnight, but first thing is within your hearts, your anger and hatred must go. I must tell you this, I used to attend a lot of uh, world peace conferences at one time. For about two years, two and a half years, I attended a lot of international conferences. Then I saw for a whole lot of people, this conference hopping itself is a profession, they're making a living out of it. I'm the only idiot sitting there thinking we are working for <laughs> forty-two Nobel laureates for participating and a few ex-heads of state and all that stuff. Because when they are head of state, they will do war, after they retire, they will talk peace. <laughs> this has been the way of the world. So, uh, I was here and uh, this is the third day afternoon, one particular <laughs> Nobel laureate, it's his turn to, his turn to speak and after that I am speaking. So he came up and uh, there is no... This podium is a little exposed, a proper big podium, you know, the wooden thing. So he went and stood behind that and he opened his file. He looked down, he never lifted up his head up, he read forty-two pages. And I was sitting in the front row trying to grasp every word, I'm watching every page, forty-two pages he flipped. Then I look around, the hall is absolutely peaceful. Because everybody, except the security and a few staff who are standing, everybody has fallen asleep. <laughs> then I thought, this is world peace for sure. <laughs> then my turn to speak came and I said, see, uh, in the last three days I've heard so many bombastic speeches about creating world peace. But I'm asking you sincerely, how many of you can place your hand on your heart and say, your mind is peaceful? Because if your mind is not peaceful, if you can't make your mind peaceful, making the damn world peaceful is out of question. Because what you are seeing in the world is a larger manifestation of what's happening in human minds, isn't it? If there are no human beings on this planet, world is peaceful, isn't it? So like, let us make the wish to make our minds peaceful globally and I think Olga wants to… No, this is the whole thing. We can't make everybody's mind peaceful. You can make yours peaceful, I can make mine peaceful, she can make hers peaceful, this is the only way it works. This is the problem. We talk about a world, we talk about a society, we talk about a human… humanity. No, all these are just vocabulary. There are only human beings. If this one and this one does not solve their problems, the world's problems are never gone.